Hi, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are going to be looking at number stories that involve fractions. So let's just jump right in. Now, of course, whenever I want to solve a number story problem, I need to think about the ruckus strategy. Ruckus, of course, stands for read multiple times, underline the question, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. So I'm going to first read the instructions that will help guide my my strategy. So it says write a number model with an unknown to represent each problem, then solve. So I'm going to come up with a number model with an unknown. So first I need to figure out what's my number model. So let's read. Martin had some leftover fruit from making fruit salad. He had three twelfths of a pound of strawberries and one twelfth of a pound of blueberries which fruit weighed more. So uh, my first question to solve is just a comparison one. Which is bigger, 3 twelfths or 1 twelfth? Well, 3 is bigger than 1, so I guess it's 3 twelfths pound of strawberries. So in the space down here, I'm just going to write strawberries. Now, I have a second question. How many pounds of fruit did Martin have? Have left. So this is asking me to add these two amounts. So my number model, starting with an unknown, would be the two amounts of fruit, which would be 3 twelfths and 1 twelfth. So here I'm going to write 3 twelfths plus 1 twelfth equals... We'll say F for fruit. So when I have like denominators, meaning that the bottom numbers are the same, all I have to do is worry about adding the top numbers. So of course, we know that 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer to my question is 4 twelfths of a pound. Now, the second question or I should say the third question, which is B, the second part of this question, is asking how much more strawberries did the strawberries weigh than the blueberries. Now, this is a comparison problem, so this tells me that I need to compare these two amounts, which is bigger. So I'm going to look at the two numbers, but the word more tells me I also have to subtract. So now I'm going to make a second number model with an unknown, 3 twelfths minus 1 twelfth. And again, I'm going to concentrate just on the top numbers because the numerators are different, but the denominators are the same. So my answer is, of course, well, first got to put in my, my unknown. I'll put M for more. Uh, 3 minus 1, of course, is going to give me 2 so my answer to this problem is going to be 2 twelfths pounds. So I had 2 twelfths more pounds of strawberries than I had blueberries. And that's pretty much it. I need to just walk through each step one step at a time, utilize ruckus as my strategy to help solve all the different parts, and just follow it through to the end. Now, we're real quickly down at the bottom. We have a couple of multiplication problems. These are multi-digit numbers that need to be multiplied. So let's actually look at the first problem, 826 times 5. Uh, I think today I'm going to choose the partial product strategy. So I'm going to rewrite this problem vertically just because it will make things easier to line up. 826 times 5. And then down below, I'm going to break down this problem into its place values. I'm going to multiply 800, then 20, then 6, and each of these numbers I'm going to multiply by 5, because multiplying by 5 is really easy. So 800 times 5 is the same as 8 times 5 with two more zeros behind it. 8 times 5, of course, is 40, so I'm going to add two extra zeros that make it 4,000. 20 times 5, well, that's going to give me 100, and then 6 times 5 is 30. So 4,000 plus 100 plus 30 is going to give me 4,130. 
and that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to have your parents email me. Otherwise, we'll talk tomorrow. Thank you.